Hello, and in this video, we're going to be creating a snail cam using uh, parametric settings on Onshape. Uh, this is uh, by far the most difficult of the four cams we're creating. Uh, we'll go through and try to create it, create it as quickly as possible, though. Uh, so first, we'll go over to where we have our box, and we're just going to start a new part. So we're going to create a part studio, and we'll set up our parametric values first. So we'll come over here to the configuration panel, uh, go down to a configuration variable, and name it D. Again, I'm just going to do two inches as my default and hit the green check. Uh, then we want to add a second variable. So the same process. I'm going to name that my hole. I'm going to set my hole as 0.25 in this case. Uh, hit our green check and we have that set as well. Uh, then we want to start our sketch. So I'm going to hit sketch and then click on my front and change to the front view. While I'm here, I'm just going to adjust this down. So we're going to adjust this down so that uh, we can see our view better. Uh, looking at our cam, we can see that it goes up a quarter D and then it rotates around, getting larger and larger until it ends at one half D. So we're going to start at that one quarter and work our way around all the way up until we get to that one half. Uh, we're going to add aux to create that shape as well. Uh, so I'm going to just start with a line. Uh, we can change it to a construction line if we want. We don't have to, uh, but it might make it easier at the end if we make it a construction line, but we don't have to. Uh, all I'm going to do is start the origin and go up, though. Uh, then I click, and I want to set that value, set that dimension, if I dimension it as uh, 1 quarter D. So 1 slash 4, shift D. Hit enter twice and that gives us our value. Uh, then when we come to the side, if we look at this, it's getting larger as we go to the side. So I'm going to break it down into sixteenths. So going up one fourth is four sixteenths. Uh, one half all the way up would be eight sixteenths. So then I can break it down into each one as a segment. So five sixteenths, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths. Uh, that way it makes it easier on us when we get to the end. So when we come back here, we're going to make a second line. We're going to start the origin again, and we're going to go straight to the left this time. Uh, we set that point, and then we need to dimension it. So I'm just going to hit dimension and pull that way down so it's out of my way. And this time it's going to be a 5 slash 16 times shift 8 D. Hit enter twice, and that gives us that line. Uh, from there, what we want to do is we want to make an arc. So we want to do a three-point arc. Our first one's going on the top. Second one's going down here. And then our radius, we're going to have to set that radius value. It doesn't matter what you set it as, as long as you have it going in the right direction initially. Uh, we can change that radius value. So I'm just going to hit escape and then dimension that radius value. So that radius value, where you have 5 sixteenths and 4 sixteenths, so we want half that, which is 4.5, divided by 16, and then times D. And hit enter twice, and that gives us our radius value. Uh, we're going to do that same process all the way around. So I'm going to start another line straight down. This time it's going to be 1 greater. So I'm going to hit escape, and then dimension, click on my line. I'm going to bring it way out so it's not in the way. And the last one was 5, so this one's going to be 6 sixteenths times D. Hit enter twice, and that puts our line down in place. Again, we're going to do an arc, three-point arc. I click on my first point. I click on my second point. I want to make sure it arcs in the right direction. And then I'm going to dimension that as well. So I come over with dimension, and I pull, click on that. And I pull that dimension out just to keep it out of my way. This time it's between 5 and 6, so it's going to be 5.5 divided by 16 times shift 8 D. Hit enter twice, and that gives us a second part of our snare cam. Again, same process over to the side, so I click on the origin, go off to the side. I dimension that line length, so I click on it and dimension it. I'm going to pull it way up so it's out of my way again. And this time it's going to be uh 7 divided by 16 times d hit enter twice and that gives us our line there uh, then we're going to take an arc and we're going to connect those points so we're going to go from here to here and then we want that arc going out so we click 
again we needed to mention it so i'm going to hit my dimension tool click on that line pull it out of the way this time we're between six and seven so it's going to be 6.5 divided by 16 times d and hit enter twice uh, that gives us almost a whole one now we need our last portion so again we're going to make a line this time i'm just going to start from where my top one was and go up another one fourth so i click on it i have to mention that line length as 140 so again one flat four times d hit enter twice and that gives me that one half total again i take a two point arc i connect my dots i go from one point to the other point make it arc out to the correct direction and then we need it to mention it so we click on our dimension tool and we bring that out and this time between seven and eight so we're going to do 7.5 divided by 16 times d hit enter twice and that gives us that snare cam, cam shape uh we still need to add a hole in the center so i'm going to hit a circle tool and go right in the origin if i can get in the origin and make my center so i go in the center i just click and then again i want to dimension it so i'm going to hit my dimension tool and click on that size and i'm just typing in hole again that way if i want to change the size i can just change it really easily uh, so it gives me my shape. I could go back and change these to construction lines, or when we extrude it, we just have to make sure to click each section. So I'm going to hit my green check. I'm going to rotate this around so it's easier to see. And then we're going to extrude. And we need to click inside each section so we extrude the whole object out. Again, this time I'm just going to do 0.25 as my uh, extrusion depth and hit my green check. Uh, so that gives us a snare cam. So last part is just to rename it as a snare cam. So part one, I'm going to change, rename as snare cam. And then down here where it says part studio one, I'm going to rename as snare cam. So change that to snare cam. And that gives us a snare cam. Uh, hopefully this helps. Again, take your time, slow the video down to help you create the whole thing at one time. Otherwise, good luck.